Welcome back to beautiful Lake Mead. It's been a little while since we've been out here. We've been getting a whole lot of rain and water movement lately, so the water level looks like it has gone up quite a bit. There's a bunch of new islands out there and a lot of interesting stuff happening. We're back pretty much in like the whole 33 area. Over there's where the infamous standing boat is. If you take a closer look though, we could definitely see that the water level has gone up quite a bit. Look, there's water hitting new spots that it hasn't hit in a long time. We got like little swampy areas going on. This is the highest the water level's been since like 2021. We're gonna go explore, check out some of the stuff we always see, and just see what Lake Mead's been looking like. I'm here with Senior. How you guys doing? So we finally got Jew out of the house right here. How's it going? He's been working hard, very hard. And uh, we kind of started this video off different, but we're gonna get down. Oh, there goes the lizard, run. <laughs> lizard popped out right in front of us. That's a whip tail. We used to catch those out in the desert when we were young. You put your hand like this, like a little hole, and he's gonna want to run in there and go ahead and scare him behind. And watch this. We're gonna head out, go launch, go look around, show you guys where the old intake is, and you know, like the old videos, just do an update. We haven't done one of these in like a month, a month or two. We got the beautiful war machine back there. So do you think the bass fishing is going to be all right today? It should be super good. I would think so. I was hoping the bass fishing is pretty good. Haven't caught a bass in quite a while. In the last video, they actually got some big smallies. So hopefully you can get something nice like that. I don't know if it's true or not, but I've been seeing some of the friends that we got in the local area. They've been going into the Boulder Boat Launch. So I don't know if we can launch there or not, if they opened it. But we're going to go give it a check and then see what it's looking like. The lawn tramp closed. We'll go take a look and just see what's going on. You remember this one, Jew? Uh, yeah, it's been this a long one? time since we came this one. At least a year and a half, two years. It was like forever. Oh, wow, forever. there's a lot of people fishing out here. All right, so we're just going to cut it right here. We're going to do a flashback of what it used to look like. And you guys remember when it dried up, there was a boat down there. And the fish kind of got caught because it ended up being a small like pond. Now you see how, how good the water looks right now. It's gonna be a great summer. So if you're new to our videos, this is what started it all right here. The water level for the year 2000. And we still have a lot of a lot of water to make up, but we're doing good. So all this was underwater right here. Maybe one day it'll get back up to this level. Well, that was 2002. We're still going down, still going down. Which one's this? No parking, perfect notice that it's a pretty long drive still all this was underwater at one time okay so we just got the boat ready almost just caught a hook in the hand he's gonna go take us to the lake it's a beautiful day right now got some houseboats out my fault look at somebody's either taking out their houseboat or bringing it in right now but here was the water level in 2008 somebody's bringing in or out their houseboat there's the 2018 water level and right here is 2021. How often do they actually add all this cement? Because I hardly ever see them doing the construction for it. But and they built a lot of it right when the water went down and they extended it out there. So it's been here for a little while. It still looks really clear, but it does look a little more green. Yeah, it looks like a little less clear than normal. It has been raining a lot lately, so that could be one of the reasons. Mm -hmm. But it's got like so. a green tint to it right now. Man, the weather is so perfect. 70s? Oh yeah. It's gonna be a good day today. It's gonna be a very good day. Because we got this guy. This guy, he catches fish like. Man, man Juju like hasn't crazy. been out in a while. If you guys remember, he was out fishing us all for a solid time there, out here at this lake. So. Panfish master. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna check out some of the spots we always see. Honestly, I don't know if any of them are out of the water anymore. Almost 60 degrees. Yeah. 60. That's at the, good. At the marina where it was shallow, it said 61 degrees. Uh, a lot of people been fishing off that pier right here in Hemingway. And catching a lot of stripers, so that's that's pretty amazing. There's a big intake tower, and right over here is where the intake usually is for the water pipe. But it looks like there's some divers on it. They got the diver sign. We don't want to get too close. We'll be back. Well, I think we all already knew that the standing boat was completely submerged underwater. This is a famous boat. You can see it sticking up, and the little flag is way underwater now it is five feet underwater so it's pretty deep here now 30 feet so that was a 30 foot boat almost huh yeah completely underwater there it is 
I don't think that was any new news. Our last video we showed that also. Now the water's about 30 feet deep where that boat was. We might honestly never see that boat again. Hopefully, that's what everybody I think can agree that that's what we're hoping for. But realistically speaking, we really never know because this lake has massive up and down swings throughout its entire history. So hopefully that thing never gets seen again. I'm sure a lot of you guys would really love to see it again, but um, it's under now. So what we're gonna do, this area is loaded with people right now. I wonder if everybody's catching. We're gonna go check out the shad, look at a couple of our old spots back there, and then uh, do a little bit of fishing. I think there's a carp right there or something. World record carp. Let's get them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I almost had him. Well, I tried to get that carp. I'm not as young as I once was. We're gonna do a quick shad report. It looks like there's a lot back here. Those are bigger fish, but right there, I don't know if you can see that, there's schools of shad swimming around. It's gonna be getting close to boil season in a month or so, when it really warms up. That's the fun season. It just went right through the middle of a school. Had to get something. Woo! Called it. Got him. Got him. Oh! Oh, look at his tail. Oh, damn. Oh, he got it chewed up. Look at that tail right there, guys. What do you think caused that? Have you seen that before? He got a little humpback, humpback tail. He's had a rough life. Let him go. You guys oh. open it up? I can feel it. What are the chances? Oh, there's a big full grown gizzard, Chad. That's excellent bait if you're fishing for 30 pound stripers. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Not what we're looking for right now, but it happened. All right, we explored back here. We haven't been able to explore in quite a while. And our uh, water's getting far enough back here in the Las Vegas wash that we were able to go way back and uh, catch a bunch of carp and shad and just a mixed bag. So we do got shad as a backup bait just in case we need it. Your job is going to be to catch a lot of bass today yeah definitely and your job also a lot of fish <laughs> a lot of fish i can help you with that i can also navigate you through the most diverse set of waters you've ever seen in your life whatever that means let's get out of here <laughs> There we go. First one of the day. What do you say, just two and a half going back? One eight. Yeah, it's two and a half. Yeah, we'll call them two and a half. <laughs> two point eight. Nice little small mouth. So let him go. Heck yeah. Well, from a distance, it looks like that boat is now officially touching water. So this is the boat we brought deer meat for dinner to. That boat has been completely high and dry for a very long time. Right below, right here. See him? Yep, drop it, drop it, drop it. He's going to you, he's going to you. Oh, he got him. <laughs> I got him. I got him. Oh, stay low. Oh man, you put him right in the bushes. Here, yeah, bring him around, bring him around, bring him around. Oh, I can't even, I'm trying to film him. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Juju, he lost there his go, fish. <laughs> there we go, man. There we go, Juju. This one doesn't have a whole lot. Good job, Juju. That's a two pounder. We'll go, we're at a four and a half pounds. All right, I'm going to let him go. First fish down. Hopefully, catch a few more. D did it float a little bit, or do you think that's where it's always oh, been? That. Yeah, that's crazy. The water's almost to the, that little open spot, whatever you would call that. This thing is now halfway underwater. I wouldn't be surprised if this year the bass start betting on it again or something. You should step off our boat and do a little short and send it to deer meat, stepping right onto it from the water. Because <laughs> he was uh, hiking to get here. Yeah, climbed on it. The water's actually getting super close to that boat now. Wouldn't it be a sight to see that thing go on? 
This is crazy though. This thing's been completely out of water for a very long time. Maybe this summer when the bass are bedding in the tilapia, they might be going in and around it. Might be able to catch bass off it once again. But as far as right now, this is pretty neat. So we've been having a really crazy amount of rain over this last winter. So it looks like there's a really good snowpack from what I'm hearing. Just the overall rain in general has all been going into this lake. So the water level has been jumping up quite a bit. I'm not exactly sure how many feet, but I wouldn't be surprised if, what do you think? Since we started making these videos, it's gone up 40 plus feet. It snowed last week. Yeah, it's still been <laughs> raining really heavy out here in the Vegas area, all in the desert and everything. It's a really crazy, crazy year. Mm -mm. Hey, check it out, the Magnificent Three. Zoom in on those guys. Four. 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 One more and we got the Magnificent Five. Mm. That's a, that's a good ram right there. I was excited about seeing two, but now look, they just keep coming over. <laughs> wow, that's wild. Massive rams. That's Nevada State Animal right there. And all four of those are rams, so that means they are males. Well, now we got five. <laughs> five big horn sheep. All rams, too, no use. Wonder where all their ladies are at. Probably separated this time of year. They're not breeding or anything. Straight up, Magnificent Five right there. That picture's gonna go viral. <laughs> the Magnificent Five. Who's he's ever seen He's stretching, he's stretching. <laughs> What's that? Who's ever seen five monster rams like that right next to each other? Yeah. In the wild. Those aren't fed or nothing. No. Was that the bigger one or smaller one? Jeez, that's a big fish. All right, here, it's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be crazy. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, six pound test. Don't let him hit the boat, don't let him hit the boat. Oh, my, oh. He took drag like crazy on that. I don't know where he's at. Not in the bushes, is he? Don't hit the charm on it too crazy. Watch out, he's on. There he is, there he is. Shoot, it's a five pounder. Oh, oh, man. oh geez. <laughs> We've been out here, it's been hot, you know, just, just a grind. We came out at 10 because we were going to do a lake meet update. So, so when you come out at 10, that's not like the best time to catch fish. But I have to say we did catch a, we did catch a hog right here. Look at that thing. Fat belly getting ready to spawn. Oh my, where's my hat? It looks all right. <laughs> Your hair don't look jacked up. That's I'm right here talking like hair all messed up. Come on. All right, we got a scale. We're on film here. <laughs> it's zeroed out completely with those grippers. All right, let's do this quick. What does it say? 4.21. 4.21. That's crazy. Our smallies last week were better. Hey, yeah, let's see. Do it one more time. That's pretty close, 4-3. It keeps jumping from 4 to 4-3. Four, 4-2-3, three. Four, three. so 4-2. Yep, I think, it already, I think it already laid its eggs, that's why. If it Did didn't it? lay its eggs, it's probably... Man, that is a beautiful fish right there. Oh, she's good. Are you sure? No, yeah, she took off. Yeah, they might good. kick like that and come back up. You know what's, what's funny? Is it's finally warm enough now that I gotta bust out the big white hats. Gonna get gonna get all burnt up today. But that was awesome. We saw two largies on a bed over there. Seeing as I'ma catch one of them because he saw them and been flicking at him. It took a while, but he bit, right? Yeah. So in this video we started at the intake. We're gonna go. If nobody's there, we're gonna close out the video there. Appreciate you guys sticking around through the fishing portion. Cause when we come out here we love to fish <laughs> when we come out here we love to fish so we do uh we do the lake meet updates and we love to fish so we're gonna go close out over there and let's go all right we're over here by the intake pipe now and uh it's been underwater for a while now it's pretty far underwater and the sun's not out so we can't really see it i wonder how deep it's got to be for them to turn it back on what would you think probably deeper than this or a whirlpool 30 feet because if it's not deep enough, yeah, it's going to whirlpool and suck juju in there. <laughs> yeah. Pretty neat, though. I mean, we appreciate you guys for tuning into today's video. 
Wait, it's been a while since we've been out here at Lake Mead. The water's been continuously going up. It's gonna be pretty neat to see what the future holds for us. I say that a lot, but I mean it, because we've been at this lake. I've been here for over nine years now, fishing at this lake, and there's a lot of times that it is shot straight up and straight down and straight up and straight down. And like we say all the time, you can see where the water used to be, way up there. Obviously, over the last 20 or so years, the water's continuously kind of over time, slowly lowered and lowered and lowered. So I'm optimistic though. I wanna see it go way higher. I would love to one day see this lake completely full and have it looking awesome and everything like that. Great fishing and uh, potentially even launch at boat launches that have been closed for two years now. So I really do appreciate you guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys wanna see anything else in the future, let us know in the comments down below. Next trip, California. We're going to a big trout fishing derby out there and uh. Hopefully we can win some money. Some of those fish are gonna be worth a whole lot of money. Juju Sr. and I are all gonna go out and try to catch them. So thanks for watching and I'll see you outdoors.